I, Antiochus, am a warlord. I am a conqueror. I have continued the work of my father, and now the Ptolemies begin to fade away like a memory best forgotten. The River Nile now runs fresh and true through the lands of the Seleucid Empire, and the great cities of Memphis and Alexandria stand bearing our banners as bastions of our conquests, and reminders to all those who still look for weakness. We have toppled the mightiest of nations. Let all those fools remember that. But. As much as I understand warfare, my brother Seleucos understands that our glory is built on gold. And now that his efficient administration has filled our coffers, the unpopular policy of war taxes has come to an end. Something for our people to share in, alongside our great victories against the Ptolemies. My brother's bitterness has waned, and my suspicion has been reduced. But I must always stay wary, as he will always remain our strongest rival to the throne. But his administration of our vast empire has been both thoughtful and efficient. In fact, his urging to go for Cyprus over Cappadocia looks to have become a lucrative decision. This is why I have decided to heed his advice once again and our army sails for the jewel of the Mediterranean at the crossroads of trade between the Aegean and Levantine seas. The city of Rhodes, another great city to add to our collection. I must say, this will alarm the various squabbling nations in Greece. But their perfume concerns are nothing more than a quaking in fear at our approach. But the greatest plan of my brother is soon to be enacted. Our empire has been built on Greek foundations, but we have maintained stability by respect. Respect for the Easterners and their customs. But now it is time. Time to merge our cultures and bring Greek customs and religion to our people. It is my hope that they will embrace our project as we have embraced them. But I fear the outermost regions will not take our lessons and blessings so kindly. We must maintain order so that those fools in our homeland begin to give us respect as a true Greek empire. For we are an empire of Greece led by the sons of heroes. And soon our greatest project will commence, to meld our people with Greece, so that Greek culture is spread from Athens to India. A toast then, to my brother, to his plan, and to the Greek peoples across the world. I just hope, for my brother's sake, that his plan works, lest our nation fall to pieces. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our RIS campaign as the Seleucids in version 0.5. And I'm not going to lie, it's been going very, very well. It's been going fantastically. It has been very fun, and we are honestly very close, or a lot closer than where we started, to unifying Alexander's empire. And just look at where we are look how much building we are doing all these turquoise na uh, places all these turquoise icons are building we are building in a lot of places that is how much money we are making now but let if we go back onto the campaign map you can see we've probably lost about 10,000 because i've gone around every single settlement between episodes and i have turned down the tax rate to low and pretty much all of the conquered places we have taken were already on low, but it was more like this region. So now we should have some huge amount of population growth. And I know it, it 10,000 seems a lot in the short term, but in the long term, it's going to make us a lot more money because we'll have more people in our cities creating more tax. So we will make more money in the long term 
with that uh, solution. And it was about time. We were making over 40,000 a turn. Definitely time enough to turn it down. But I thought the first thing we should do this episode, guys, we're on episode 12, is just have a look at where we are and what we're doing. So, we now have a control region of 122. There are around, I think, 900 and something in this mod. So, we control about a ninth of the map. A little bit more than a ninth. Maybe, maybe around an eighth of the map, which is... Pretty, pretty big. Quite a lot. <laughs> Quite a lot of the map. Um, and, of course, let's have a look at some of our rankings. We are third in the rankings. Only fourth militarily. 21 in production. <laughs> two, territori two territorially. Who has more than us? First financially and second in population. So it looks like potentially the Romans might actually be starting to catch up with us. So let's have a look at potentially... Let's go for the top five factions. That is definitely the Romans. I'm also going to put in the Ptolemies just to see how screwed they are. Um, and Macedon is on there. Carthage is on there. Rome is on there. Yeah, is there anyone else? I could potentially put Parthia. That's They're probably too small. I don't think anyone else bothers us too much. So we'll leave it at this. What's the last one? Oh, Bactria are actually one of the top fives in the overall. It's kind of crazy. We've kind of just crossed over the Romans. They were a lot lower, but you can see they went up so quickly overall. Let's have a look at our military. Obviously, the AI can support a lot more troops than we can. Look at the Romans up there. They have more than double the amount of troops we have. And Carthage has a huge amount of troops as well. Uh, but you can see the Ptolemies just slowly coming down. Uh, Bactria and the Antigonids are doing well as well. Production ranking. I don't think that's accurate right now for us. I think next turn we'll have a big spike. Territorially, of course, we are very, very high up. The Romans only have... Yeah, they only have about 38 or so. Around the, 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 t the high 30s. If we just go to... Yeah, so why is it saying we are second territorially when we are by far the largest territorially? I don't know, that's kind of strange. Let's move on to financial then. And we are the best. It looks like Bactria. No, it's not Bactria. It looks like some of... Yeah, it's a lot of... Uh... Yeah, Pergamon are pretty rich. It's just a lot of small nations that are rich because they don't have anything to spend their money on. Population-wise, we're coming up to a million and we will be at a million within a few turns. Probably about 20 to 30 turns. Uh, in terms of the amount of turns we've had, we're only on turn 44, guys. And I believe we start with around 94 settlements. So we've taken 30 or so. Won 53 battles, lost 8. Yeah, we've taken about 30 settlements because we get, let go of 3 settlements at the start as well. Financially, let's have a look. Our turn income. That looks different, bro. That looks like we should be in negative. I, I, I don't know <laughs> how accurate this is. 36,000 farming. Mining only 1,000. We don't have much mining. Trade is 60,000 right now, and taxes are 80,000. As we go along, this trade number will get higher and higher and eventually outstrip our taxes. Um, in terms of our expenditure, our army upkeep is around 90,000 right now. That's quite a lot. Of course, construction is a lot as well. Uh, good. And I think that's it. I just wanted to have a look just to see how we were doing, and we're doing fantastically well. Now, we'll keep on the pressure with the Ptolemies. We want to take Tanis, and then I kind of want to get Alexandria up to being a recruitment hub, as well as Memphis, so we can retrain all these troops, get them nice and fresh, so that we can come down south, down the Nile, and destroy the rest of the Ptolemies. The remaining few fools who hold out hope for the Ptolemies. Um... And that's good. And then in the north, of course, we keep on advancing uh, on Nisa. 
yeah, we'll keep on advancing on Nisa and see what happens. And, of course, recruiting an army for uh, fighting Bactria as well. So we have plenty to do. I think I've decided that this army is going to go and take uh, the islands and Crete. It shouldn't take too long. It'll probably take around 10 turns. Um, and again, we kind of need some more Akontisti, really. Yeah, we need more Akontisti. And I'm thinking, I mean, the first island we're going to take is this one. So let us recruit a load of Akontisti around here if we can. We don't have the money right now. Uh, but we will from Trelaeus and over here as well. Cool. Right then. Let us end the turn. You're moving. Spies moving south. We've got generals moving around. Yeah, you can blockade a port. It doesn't really matter, my friend. We've got plenty more ports where that's come from. Plenty more ports where that's come from. So let us continue our glorious march. Destroying the Ptolemies. It has been glorious, hasn't it? It has been fantastic. Um, and they, they really haven't put up that much resistance. I don't know. I think I think a lot of it is because they're so spread out. They just don't know how to uh, prioritize their resources, I would say. Uh, look at this. We don't need all of these guys. Get rid of you as well. They've all been damaged in uh, rioting. Town. Oh my god, we've got a load of people coming of age. That probably means that we're going to have a load of people die soon as well. So you are in Alexandria Prosphasia. That's actually fantastic. I'm going to send you north. You can be our Bactrian general. Uh, well, not Bactrian general. Our general against Bactria. We have Euthyadamus in Seleucia. How old are you, my friend? 39, so there's no worry of you dying anytime soon. And I think, is it time to come down through Arabia? It probably is. We're kind of at that point now. So I'm going to recruit two, so I'm going to recruit spy there and a spy here. Just to scout ahead and see where the settlements are. So you thigh the most... Your understanding of logistics, that's actually quite good. I think... Yeah, I think... Oh, we can get an assassin here as well. Well, let's... Uh, let's get you a few troops, shall we? we probably upgrade the recruitment hub over here at some point. Like, if I got the stables upgraded, that would be good. So let's get the stables upgraded in Artemita. So you're going to be... Okay, we've got another one over here. That's fine. You're fine to stay in Zadricata. Then we have Lysippos. You are just pretty useless. Not really got anything good there. Um, I think we send you to... Susa is a large city. I didn't even realize. <laughs> we'll send you to Susa. Definitely worth... Having someone governing in Susa, it's a large city. And you can see how the map has changed. As we have upgraded our farmlands, you can see this is no longer all desert. A lot of farms we have going down here with the irrigation, etc. Faction announcements. Yeah. New family members. Cool. Someone called Seleucos, which is great. Antioch, let us keep uh, upgrading what we can. Our Bella. For some roads. A lot of places are built, so probably going to run out of money relatively quickly. Stakra. Let's go for those mines. We hardly have any mines. Alexandria Carmania. You can get a port. I'm. That must be it. Cool. Antioche Marginai. All the way up here in the north. Paved roads are very important for you. Jerusalem. Let's get something cheap if we can. I mean, a temple's the cheapest of them all, isn't it? Arados, let's go for farming. And Heropolis, let's try and make you happier. 
There's not really anything that I can do to make you much happier. Artemita, you're upgrading. Bertha. Let's go for Shrine to Tyke. Uh, and then, yeah, we don't want to build anything there. Nikaya. Ooh, Riverports. Nice. I'll take that. Although Memphis, no, we need to come to Memphis. So let's... Ooh. It's just struggling a little bit. Get rid of that. Oh, wait. Nikaya, did I... I thought I cancelled that. So in Memphis, we need to upgrade the city barracks. So let's destroy that. Should have enough now. Right then, Memphis. Let's upgrade the city barracks. And Amethus. Yeah, let's uh, let's get that law in there as well. Let's keep them happy. I want them to siege us down. That would be unreal. If they think they can beat us, <laughs> that would be unreal. Um, we'll get you all the way over here. You can go into there. And you can come into here. Good. Auto sort those boys. Cool. And then over here. Yeah, we're still going to siege that down. I think, yeah, I'm happy to just wait here. That The Ptolemies are not bringing undue pressure right now, are they? So, how are we doing up here, Cappadocia? Cappadocia has been very, very slow in attacking us, haven't they? But they are at war with Pontus, which I'm assuming is, you know, a big part of that. Should we go... I think we go round to talk to, like, the Scythians and the uh, Bosporans and see whether we can get trade there as well, because we do have ports that can trade with them. Which is good. Fantastic. I don't think we have anything left to do... You can move. Can we see yet? Well, they did put a wall around the place. That makes it easier to defend, though. If if we can take it. <laughs> Where's that? I thought I had a spy over here. Did they, did they die? Maybe they died. Oh, well. Poor guy. And we did get some... I oh, know we, we, we're recruiting them. Cool. Cool. I think we're, we're, we're just in a great position right now. I know I keep saying it, but we are... We're in a good position. Oh, fantastic. A field battle. Whoa. Three generals. Three whole generals ready to fight us. And just a Greek Peltast. And then the other one is Greek Archers, Theroperoi, and Matroi Foroi. A decent unit. Cool. Well, our first battle of the episode, guys. Let's get into it. Here we are. Yes. Yes. Glorious. Right. Let us... Set up. Going to try and use the Prodromoi to the best of our ability to harass the enemy general. Z. Get here, boys. Oh, I don't want to deal with you guys. Go away. <laughs> this is where we can start firing into the generals. Come on, boys. What a song. Ready to get go ready to get us going for this battle. I can't speak. <laughs> oh, this is why I hate Prodromoi. <laughs> Missile cab. We're doing to the Ptolemies what they have done to us many times. What are they doing? Like, I'm just going to fatten my line up a bit. Go, 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 go. 
Get the hell out of dodge, boys. Get the hell out of dodge. That was just timed well enough. They're not going to be quick enough to catch us anyway as well. Oh, the, amount, the amount of damage these guys will be doing with that amount of experience as well. Do you know what? I think we can take this general bodyguard. I'm confident in these boys. They're very experienced. I'm confident in them. We killed... Uh, got to kill them, though. Yes! Well, that's one general dead. Now, what do we have here? Come on, Prodromoy. We'll use you in a melee capacity now. Let's speed everything up. Oh, who's this? There's another general's bodyguard. I think we could take him, you know. <laughs> The amount of experience we have is just obscene. Oh! We're losing a lot of men. That gold star guy is doing well. They say victory is a distinct possibility, but we... Yeah. Now defeat is a distinct possibility for them. God, you Prodromoi, experienced as you are, are very strong. You should be faster than that general, surely. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Yes, 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 yes. It's what we like to see, my friends. And they've run straight into a uh, phalanx. Good. Let's go. Are they withdrawing now? You guys get there. Speed it up. You guys get them as well. I think now it's time for that. To charge this bodyguard in the back. Philippos. Is it? They, they had, he had a huge bodyguard. So I'm assuming he's the, like, the faction leader in there right now. Yes, yeah, the enemy king. Kill him. Yes. Philippos is dead. Philippos the foolish, they shall call him. Oh, yeah. Are they withdrawing now? Prodromo, I don't think you're going to be too useful apart from charging down the enemy now. So, let us come forward. I don't know where these guys are going. Uh, we'll bring the Prodromo forward again. Just so that they can... Uh, Charge down the enemy as soon as we are ready for them to do so. Kill this goddamn archer. And we're so slow, though, we can hardly catch them up. Now straight in the back. Oh, that was a charge and a half. Oh, goddamn, we just absolutely obliterated that army. Oh. Glorious to see. Wow. Wow. They did kill a few of our men. Let's have a look at this Prodromoy. They only killed 50 and 19, but that was pretty much just all generals. So fair play to them. Zista Foroy just doing so well. Well, well done. Glorious victory, guys. I shall see you back on the uh, campaign map. Victory. Glorious. Ah, yes. Tannis is now ours. And Philippos has died. Ha <laughs> ha! Stupid Philippos. Philippos Ptolemy. Dead already. Glorious. Trying to defend the Nile Delta from the Seleucid invaders. But he didn't work, did it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man of the hour. Yes, we shall. Oh. Captain Polycrates. Okay, we have civil disorder. For what, I do not know. Why have you suddenly got so unhappy, my friends? Hmm. I'm going to have to just plonk a couple of troops in there. Yeah, instantly happy. If I took you out, are you still happy? Oh, they are. They just needed a few more troops. 
Uh, ah, that is, yeah, that is one we took. That was one of those rebel settlements. Then we have Heliopolis, Syria. Ooh, that's probably, yeah, it's probably cultural unrest. Uh, of course, the shrine to here is going to help. Can I leave men out of here? Not really. What about here? Doesn't look like it, but... If I could... It's only 65%. It will be fine after that temple, though. And let's build another guy there, just to make sure. Dear Marcos has died in Alexandria Prosphasia. That's unfortunate. Babylon has expanded. Glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Baroya has expanded as well. That is nice to see. That should allow us to alleviate the issues with public order here. Is there anywhere I can train an Acontisti nearby? I mean, here. Let's train an Acontisti in Antioch. Get that into that settlement because they will be unhappy. Especially as the population continues to grow. Seleucia, we built the... Uh, the Great Agora. I think the next thing, probably the Foundry. And then Edessa. Let's build sewers. Let's just go for cheap options now. Like sewers are cheap. Dora Epros, yeah. Sewers everywhere. Sewers for everyone. Uh, we'll build some farming there. Alexandria Ariane. Let's build some farming. Smyrna, we got an upgrade, so let's get that port in there. Jerusalem. Let's just build the roads in Jerusalem. Babylon. Um, I'm thinking we go for... That's not elite tax. That is an academy. Oh, no. Babylon's already getting its upgrade. Seleucia, Hadaiphon. Let's go for Temple of Tyke. Nippur. Let's go for the sewers. Gauzana. I think the roads is best there. Alexandria Susia. Sewers. <laughs> Alexandria Persis. Let's go for the paved roads. And Passa. Let's go for that. And that's good. That's where we're up to. So. Is that. I mean, is that just one person in that army or what? Right, so you should be able to come back here. And hopefully, you'll be enough to keep them happy. So, we're going to send you on to there. And, yeah, no, we're going to leave you on that boat for now. So, we have a little, uh, Yeah, everywhere's happy. Everywhere is pretty happy. Oh, I forgot to uh, delete... This. Did I do it here? Looks like it. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, let's go for Temple of Tyke. Get that extra... Extra Shazam. And then we were recruiting some Akontistai. Where were we recruiting that Akontistai? It was down here somewhere, right? Oh, yeah, we couldn't because we didn't have enough cash. So we'll recruit three in Trelaeus, And then we also have some spies over here to uh, go and scout ahead. Uh, where was the other spy? It was over here. I know there's, like, a rebel settlement down this way somewhere. That's Babylonia. This is a massive region. So I'm assuming there isn't much here. Well, maybe... Oh, it's Palmarine here. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I think there are some regions down this way, but maybe... Yeah, I'd say a ship would be the option that we want to take if we are going to start taking Arabia. Obviously, the key things are... These islands are our next target, and then Cappadocia. And in the north, of course, we are trying to rebuild our armies. Um, oh, yeah. Tanis, we took that last turn. So, let's 
Get us some more money. Native culture is Egyptian here, but they do have a third level colony Greek. That's pretty good. I don't have roads here, though, as well, which is not good. Let's get roads. Um, and then, yeah, we need to uh, get this recruitment hub done. And then we'll be able to sort out all of these and all of these guys unless they attack us. And they have... So they have a settlement over here as well. Zesses. Zesses. Right, let's end the turn, guys. Our diplomat's on his merry way. There and back again. You're moving, you're moving. Cool. 122 settlements. It's a lot, isn't it, guys? It's a lot. Oh, hello, Kappa. Oh, Parthia. Oh, I forgot about you. I think we have a much better chance of winning this if I auto-resolve it. Because we, we can't win this on the battle map because those horse archers will just demolish us. Like, genuinely, like, we have nothing to combat them. We'll be dead. But, yeah, clear defeat. Oh, well. Well, at least we've got some extra troops we can uh, send against Bactria. That might have annoyed the, the Parthians a little bit enough to uh, come and attack us, though. Which, probably, it wasn't the smartest move, was it? It was, it was an opportunist move, and I forgot about it. <laughs> God damn it. Can't believe I forgot. That is That is a bit annoying. But, oh, well. Oh, well. We'll be good. We'll be fine. We will be fine. So I think this episode is really more going to be building up, guys. There's going to be less battles, I think, in this episode. We'll try and get a couple in. Uh, we'll go for Syrinx. Trambax is upgraded. Adramiton as well. Coming of age of Charidimos in Ladokia Lycos. Like, nearly all of these places have someone in. Anywhere? No. Oh, that's uh, that needs sorting out, doesn't it? Let's get that. Uh, sorry, was there a governor there? There was. Governor, governor, governor. No governor. Okay. Pretty sure it was that one. Yep, yeah, was good. Got more oh, civil disorder coming again. Probably because why why is this civil disorder happening? Let's keep on with the shrine to Hera then. Uh, Heropolis, like I said, needs someone from Antioch. We'll go into there. Really, that's not solved it. That's poor. That solved that. How about you? Yeah, you're happy anyway. But we should recruit another Akontistai just to take that place. Um, Heropolis, Baroya. Yeah, we're trying to solve this. Let's recruit a Prodromoy. I know it's a waste of money, but we need to keep these places happy. <sighs> another boss, why are you unhappy? Probably because we are trying to convert them. Well, we've not even got roads there. Uh, but we shouldn't focus on that. We should focus on happiness. And I guess conversion would be the, the, the best route to happiness right now. And then we have Antiochi Marginai. Which is just going to have to get another guy recruited in it. Hmm. Greek cities and the Ptolemies have declared an alliance. That is not good for us. Right, Antioch. Build the communal farming. Uruk. Build the sewers. Susa. Let's build paved roads. Ephesus. I think the shipwright. Zadricata. Let's build the paved roads. Alexandria Carmania. Okay. Let's build the mines. 
And then we're about done, aren't we? Save a little bit of cash just in case we've got anything to do. Uh, did we not? No, we've not quite completed that yet. We need a trash unit up here. We, well, we need a few trash units, really. Uh, we should be able to recruit them from Alexandria, to be fair, next, uh, next turn. So that'll be fine. Uh, and we can replace all the good units in here with trash ones. Send everyone... I'll send this army down to here to defend it. Send this army up to Alexandria to get retrained. And we'll be good. We will be good. So you need to keep moving. Probably just down the Nile. So this is a huge area. This is huge. That is one huge area. So that probably just has one settlement on the edge. So we want to just basically come down the Nile. We'll go and take Zestes as well. Uh, and these spies, let's keep them moving. Ah, there was a settlement. Cool. Uh, and then we'll keep moving as well. See where they can find that, that rebel settlement up there. I swore, I could have sworn I had a spy, you know. Nowhere around here we can build a spy. Or was it here? No. We'll move that army in a little bit. Oh, it was here. Oh, wait, we already, we, we got them. Oh, we got two. Okay, cool. Well, one of you is going to go up to Nisa. And the other one's going to go across to Bactria to have a look. What's going on? Cool. I think... Are we good? Oh, no. We're not good. Why are you loading? What's going on there? We are not good because... Gonna have to take a risk here. And move this army. Potentially to get killed. Hmm. It's a big risk. But oh well. We'll take it. We shall take it. Ah, yes. Glorious. Let us continue. I don't think we've had a battle this episode yet, have we? Um, as I said, this is going to be more of a management episode. Doesn't look like there's going to be too much. Because we're not really on the front line. Like, in the, in the Nile Delta, we need to relax and let our troops be retrained. And everywhere else, we're kind of just trying to build up enough troops to start taking places. Got civil disorder again. Oh my god, even more places this time. It is definitely because of our conversion, I believe. It's because of the Anatolian culture. Let's go for the Shrine to Hera. That'll solve it. Termesos again. Looks likely due to... What's this do? Problems with the culture. I think that will solve it. I think that'll uh, stop writing next turn, hopefully. Patara. Oh, wow. Patara is incredibly low. Um, could also be because the enemy is putting spies in these places. This is uh this is a little bit scary. Hmm. That's that that is a lot to lose. It's another twenty percent, so it'll only be on fifty seven percent though. Well I guess we can move you across. That's fifty two now. Oh you definitely can move. Okay, 67. That'll be fine after next turn when that uh, temple's rebuilt. And we have Passa again. Oh, god damn it. Let's build some more troops. We're just... We're having to go back to the original scenario of having loads of troops in these places. But I guess... We did bring it on ourselves by trying... To... I mean, if I can build something else rather than a troop, that'd be better... Same with Taioki. That should help as well. 
But I did start trying to convert a lot of these places, which maybe I did that too early. I I'm not too sure. But, oh well. We're going to have to live with it now, aren't we? Uh, Nicomedia. Let's go for that. That brings happiness. And goodbye. Oh, God damn it, goodbye. Let's go for Hera. Can recruit Frogimoy there. Like around Nicomedia, is there anywhere we can spare a troop? I think so. There we are. It's Greek as well. Why are you so upset? You are Greek. 19-year-old in... In Seleucia. Is doesn't have one. We'll grab you, send you to Is. Get in there, my friend. You thigh a mess. Most advanced faction is us. Fantastic. That all makes sense. This is why we're making these places unhappy. Because of our constant trying to convert. Odessa. But we need to get these places Greek. It's, it's going to be a bit painful for a few turns. Uh, but after that, it should be fine. That's already Greek. Uh, let's go for the markets in a few of these places. Make a little bit more money. Go for the river ports as well. Uh, Smyrna. Let's go for the uh, for that. Trelaeus. Let's go for the uh, sewers as well. Sewers for everyone, like we've said. Apameus de Catanatala. That's definitely how you pronounce that name. Let's leave that. And then... Oh, wait, actually... Get rid of that. We've got something more important to build. And it's the uh, the Hippodrome. Not for right now, honestly. It's for later. Uh, and we also wanted to be able to recruit an Akontistai, didn't we? Well, we didn't get destroyed on our boat over here, so that's good. But we should come into the docks this turn. And next turn. Ideally, I would like to reach there. But it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. So probably just hop to that dock. What's up, dock? I don't know. Right. Our spies are on the move. Move, spies, move. Go and spy on the damn Bactrians. And this army... Apart from you... Can come over here. We'll start building some watchtowers around this region as well. So we can actually see what's going on in our lands. I think you come down this way. And then you. Keep coming across this way. Try and find another settlement in the desert. Enjoy. Enjoy. Right, um... Well, we've got too many Akontistai on this island now. <laughs> we'll help our income a little bit. There you are. It's just annoying that these places are getting so unhappy. But keep going. Yeah, keep that spy moving as well so we keep seeing what's going on down here. Lots of little settlements. Lots of little settlements everywhere we go down the Nile. Um, and that's going to be fine. Uh, we will deal with them perfectly, perfectly. And we just need like an Akontistai army behind us just to garrison <laughs> all of these settlements. We've, we've pretty much got a full stack up around this area anyway. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm not going to adopt you. We've got too many people coming of age and stuff now. Oh, God, look at this. Loads of them. Nippur has grown. Good. Now let's sort out a civil... It's only two places this time. Alexandria Susia looks very much like it is going to go to the enemy. Ah... Uh... 
Uh, there's nothing I can do to keep them happy. Loranda. Can I? Yeah, nope. Sure there's somewhere close by that we can stick, uh, yeah. There we are. Right, Alexandria Susia. We, we sent our army away from there, but I forgot I should have left and dragon ass in there. That's taking it up to 43. And then probably you guys. It's going to be 58. It'll be fine after next turn, I think. The rest of you get in there. Well, we're close to having a full stack here now. Like I said, the best thing that we can recruit over here is missile troops to fight missile-focused enemies. So let's recruit a few more. I think three or four more. Which cav do we have? Like, none. That's one issue. But it'll be fine. Yeah, we've done a lot of recruiting that turn. Never amazing. Uh, Uruk, let's go for the baths. Goodbye. Let's go for roads. Stakra, we got mines. Good. Let's go for the large mines. Alexandria Prophasia. Let's go for the next Temple of Hera. Alexandria, Ariane. Let's go for happiness. Jerusalem, we got the roads. That's quite good. Jerusalem's a very rich settlement right now. Tamita, let's go for the roads. And Gauzan. Go for that Temple of Hera. Keep them happy. Then over here, what do we want to do? I kind of want to... Uh, Get these guys out to go retrain up here. We wanted some Akontistai, so let's get them. They can uh, garrison these cities. Kind of, I would like some uh, generals over here, really. Oh, yeah, we, I forgot to move all these generals around. Uh, so, we know Abantes is going to lead the army. Uh, and Asphalion. These two, Atalos and Praxinos, the useless twins, they can come over here. I don't know how long it's going to take them to get there, but enjoy your walk across the desert. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> enjoy your walk across the desert. Uh, and then my spies... Keep an eye out on Nisa. Make sure they're not recruiting too many troops. And then our other spy. Where did you go, my friend? There you are. Do you know what would be cool? If spies could build watchtowers as well. Like, it, it kind of makes sense. Because the whole thing is to go and see through the fog of war, right? If they could be seeing through the fog of war a bit better... Gonna try and get the stables there, actually. But do you know what? Actually, the blacksmith would be better, wouldn't it? Get that armor upgrades. Cool. Um, and the boat. God, we're getting to the point now where it's confusing, like we were in the Sparta campaign, where we have so many <laughs> different armies and and uh, fields of attack that we're getting confused by them all. Go away. Keep going, bro. Just walk around. Like, uh, just walk around them. Like, if the path isn't right and there's something in the way, just walk around them. But then again, I guess sometimes it would take you in the completely wrong direction. So maybe don't do that. But it would be nice if the AI could do that. If those things could just, instead of walking into the city and going, oh, there's a city. Just walk around it. <laughs> or walk through the city. It doesn't matter. Just some way of getting to your destination. We'll go and have a look at the Bosporans and the Scythians up here. Rebel, rebel territory still. Uh, so some more civil disorder. God damn, Tomasos. Will you just stop? 
need, I kind of need something. I just need something to get them happy. Is there a... Oh, we can actually recruit things in Sagalassos. So let's recruit two of those. One for each of us. Uh, you need to go, really. And then Harmosia. Oh, Harmosia is fine. Why are you saying it's unhappy? Let's build that Temple of Hera, though. And then Nidos has upgraded. Cool. Yeah, Diplomats had... Oh, God, we got loads of kids coming. Absolutely loads. We're now the most advanced faction again. Okay, Seleucia, we built that. Let us build... I don't think the army barracks is really going to lead to too much. But it's fine. We should also build the Shrine to Hephaestus at some point as well. Antioch. Let's build the roads. Damascus. Try and keep these guys happy. Alexandria Charax. Yep. We're just kind of building in the same places every time. So, we should try and mix it up a little bit. Like, building in Memphis would be good. Let's build the roads. And then over here, let's also build the roads. And then over here, let's build roads as well. And this one, yeah, they've not upgraded any of their roads, which is a bit upsetting. But oh well. First things first, you're going to relieve Tanis. So the garrison can move out. And, well, in fact, we'll start moving our infantry first because they're a bit slower. Then you guys over here. Keep moving. Get a Good. Cool. I'm sorry there's not been any battles this episode, guys. It, it has just been a management episode, but... That's what we need to do at this point in the campaign. We needed to just... We've been on an absolute spree of, uh, of destroying things. And taking what we want. Oh, God. This isn't great. Who is... So, Rhodes. They're neutral. I do want to take Rhodes. So, let's have a look at their diplomatic standing. Trading. Am I trading with them? I've forgotten what their badge looks like. I don't think so. Uh, there. So they have... Oh, yeah. Well, I mean... We might get a battle here, guys. Because... <laughs> yeah, Rhodes normally has... Oh, my God! Yes! The boys! <laughs> the general boys! Oh! Look at that army! Yes! That's fine. I mean, we've pretty much just got infantry. <laughs> oh, well... Or do we wait for them to come to us? No. I'm sorry, Rhodes. You have no allies and no enemies. You need one, and it is me. Six of their goddamn guys in here. Six and one in the city. Rhodium, Ephebates, Hoplites. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Let's fight this battle, then. This is going to be fun. Finally, a battle of this episode. I will see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. There's the Colossus of Rhodes, look. Why do they always get the fucking hill, bro? I'm going to come over to the left to try and force them to uh, come across this way. We're going to keep the uh, Phalangites on the flanks. And the Agira Speeders in the middle. Uh, Cavalry-wise, we don't have much compared to them. We do have Elephants, however, which... Don't run, guys. Just walk. They're on the hill. For some reason, I thought it would be better coming up. I guess this way is this the least steep. They don't have a huge amount of missile troops. They do have some. 
But it's just that cavalry. But there is Rhodes over there with the Colossus. And once we've taken Rhodes, I think we've got nearly all of the... Uh, apart from the Statue of Zeus, I think we've got all the Ancient Wonders at that point. Are you guys all on fire at will? You are. Don't run. You guys there. You guys here. Elephants. Don't run, elephants. Just walk. Gear of speeders. Get these guys up here. Um, yeah, I... Uh, apart from the Statue of Zeus, I think we've got the temp uh, we've got the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. We've got the uh, Mausoleum at Halicarnassus. Statue of Ar what is it called? The Statue of Artemis, is it or something? And we've also got um, the pyramids and the lighthouse. So we got lots of things. Right, now you guys can start running. Well, they've not fought us on the hill, which they probably should have done. Let's get up there, boys. Come on. Oh, it looks like they're going for the charge. Early charge. Let's go. Let's move you guys forward. So you can take that impact. Oh, that was a big, big charge. This is a problem. Where's my Agira Speedes? Some guys are not enjoying this. But they're seeing they're just crushing through. But we get to, uh, we can go and flank them ourselves. And uh, actually, fight them. No, don't form a phalanx. Sorry. Go, go, go. I'm a bit rusty today for some reason. It's probably just because we've not had another battle. Okay. Let's get a rally off. I'm sure we don't lose any men. Remember, the uh, bodyguards are very, very seriously strong. No matter what happens, they're very strong. So, we do well just to fight them, really. The Agira Speedairs need to be in Phalanx. Stop. Oh, they're firing at my Ellie's. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. That is not something we want. Let's charge into this bodyguard then. Don't want them to escape. I really want to kill them all. Okay, we're doing... We're holding the line pretty well. That's the enemy king. I want to come through. Kill all these uh, missile troops. I do not want my Ellie's. <laughs> oh, come on. We've just killed your king. Do you have no respect for running away <coughs> and living to fight another day? Right now, let's get out. Let's get out. In fact, I might bring the Ellie's into this. And go kill this bodyguard. Come through. Let's go kill those archers. I do want to kill them all. I don't want anyone to escape. Come on, Ellie's. Let's go. We've not had these guys in the battle very often. We've actually lost more in auto-resolves than we have in uh, actual battles. So it's about time we probably use these guys. Kill these Greek Slingers. They should just break, surely. Yep, there we are. 
So we've got a lot less cavalry than the enemy, but we're kind of using them a bit, a bit more cleverly. God, Ariathus' bodyguard is down to very low, though, now. Come on, keep killing them. Yeah, keep fighting them. The Rhodian Hoplites seem pretty good, honestly. You could get there. That would be excellent. What's this? A Uzonoi. Yep, they're going to die. They've just run straight through. We've taken a lot of damages in this battle. But, oh well. Just need to make sure we kill all those generals. Cool, we lost 40% already. It's a lot. God, how do these Uzonoi not go and die? Let's go kill those Rhodian Ephabetes. Once we've killed all their uh, sort of infantry, we can uh, just focus on... Uh, uh, yeah, you know what? Charge them while they're wavering. They probably will run away. We've lost an Ellie. Yep, yeah, that's them dead. That's them dead. Let's go. Come on. We've lost an Ellie, but oh well. Use oh noise. Oh, they're all they're all running away now. So it's just the generals. It's just the generals. We don't really have anyone to ch chase down the uh, troops. That's the problem. They might be able to retreat to uh, retreat to Rhodes, which would be a nightmare. Ah, they, a load of their generals are going to be able to retreat. Oh, well, they shouldn't have any troops with them, so we might just be able to auto-resolve it, depending on what's going on. I think we just end the battle there. Well, we killed double theirs, so that's good. Well done, guys. Elephant's not doing too well, but... Oh, well, everyone did pretty decently. Well done, guys. You stood the test... Of the general's bodyguard. Well done. Decent, decent, decent battle. So I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. And, oh, Rhodes was completely undefended. So we must have killed them all. Oh, we didn't kill them all, though. Naval trade by 40%. That is going to be huge for us. Um, Yeah, that's another reason why we wanted to take that. Uh, I think we'll skip back across to here. Well. <laughs> Glorious. Has an arena. I see him. It's Greek already. They've got a Temple of Artemis. He's already got a Scriptorium there as well. It's a large city. Fantastic. Did we get any towns growing? We did Samaria. So we'll get that one. Alexandria Prosphasia. We got the... And we destroyed that faction. Shield bearer, captured flag, and uh, a shield bearer. And he is now a superior commander. Of course, he has been brutally good. That should really... That has, that has put our cash up an absolute load. About ten, another 10,000 on that. 40% extra naval trade. That's huge. Huge bonuses for us. Now, where were we recruiting those uh, Acontisti? Well, they're going to have to come down to take the place of Rhodes and also join the army. So we can leave them in these islands. I think we're at the end of the turn, aren't we, guys? So, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm sorry there were less battles in this episode, guys, but I do really enjoy the... Uh, uh, the campaign management as well. That is my favorite thing to do. Uh, but I appreciate it if you like to, uh, if you prefer to watch the battles, etc. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like and subscribe. All that good stuff. It really helps the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.